اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Moderated mediation Hayes process macro model 8 In this session we are going to talk about moderated mediation but in this case the moderator is also moderating the direct effect from x on y The difference between model 7 and model 8 is that the moderator is moderating the direct relationship between x and y as well In this case all the variables are continuous Please note that model 8 allows up to 10 mediators operating in parallel. Now this is the model that we are going to test in this particular session where OC is our independent variable, organizational performance is our dependent variable, organizational learning is our mediator. The indirect effect being moderated by role ambiguity and along with that this moderator also moderates this relationship. Now this is what is estimated in this particular session moving on how to run the analysis let's go back to spss go to analyze regression process macro our dependent variable is organizational performance our independent variable is organizational commitment our mediator is organizational learning model number 8 and the moderator in this case is role ambiguity let's go to options let's have the code for visualizing interactions on the continuous variables that define product are mean centered low average and high role ambiguity and let's have johnson neiman output as well let's continue and let's press okay now this is our output from model 8 again the whole output here is described in detail in the powerpoint slides so let's get back here now that you have run your model selected your options the first thing that you get is your summary where you've got model 8 the y variable x variable mediator moderator and total sample size now since we've got multiple outcome variables we've got different model summaries as well so OL is your outcome variable here again OL so OC has a significant impact on organizational learning role ambiguity also has a significant impact on organizational learning and the interaction between role ambiguity and organizational com commitment also significantly influence organizational learning the interaction effect is significant this means that this particular relationship here is being moderated by role ambiguity the interaction term leads to a significant change in r square value because the p value is significant look at this the lower level and upper level confidence interval do not include a zero again this is what we have done earlier as well your r square value 35% change in organizational learning is being accounted by these three exogenous variables or independent variables or predictors now this is your johnson neiman output Now look at this value 2.2857. Now the conditional effect of the focal predictor that is organizational commitment on organizational learning at the value of the moderator. Now in this case have a look here. If you keep on increasing your role ambiguity. Now you keep on increasing role ambiguity. Now there comes a time when you further increase it and there is no moderating effect. Now there is a moderating effect up until this level of role ambiguity 2.2857. Now if you further increase it there is no moderating effect of role ambiguity. Now Johnson Neiman interval tells you the range of values of the moderator in which the slope of the predictor is significant versus non-significant at a specified alpha level. In simple terms Johnson Neiman identifies regions in the range of the moderator where the effect of the focal predictor on the outcome is statistically significant and not significant. Now in this case this is significant up until this point here. Well these values for the moderator do not cause a change in the relationship of the focal predictor that is your organizational learning on the outcome that is your organizational commitment. Now in this case two relationships are being moderated now for which relationship are these conditional effect now look at this average level of moderator 0.5015 
and look at this 0 0.5015 now that johnson neiman output is for the focal outcome that is your organizational learning and your focal predictor in this case is organizational commitment and the relationship is this one here this one organization commitment to organization learning and the moderator is ra now this is the johnson neiman output for that particular relationship now again how do we visualize output you just need to copy this text here where is this text here it is just right next to the johnson neiman output you get this text here so you just copy it copy go to file new syntax you paste it here select it all run it and you will have a graph here like this now I've, what i've done is i've just connected the dots here and i've got my output here now how do you interpret it let's interpret it look at this green line red line and blue line the blue line represents a low roll ambiguity the red line average and the green line high roll ambiguity now this green line here is straightening this means that at high level of role ambiguity, the impact of organizational commitment on organizational learning is much weaker. Look at this. It's almost half of what it is at low role ambiguity. So at high role ambiguity, the relationship is weakened. The graph shows a steeper gradient for low and average role ambiguity. The impact of commitment on organizational learning is much stronger at low and average role ambiguity. Look at this. It is much stronger at low and average role ambiguity. However, at higher role ambiguity, the line tends to straighten. Look at this. It is straightening. This shows that at higher role ambiguity, the increase in organizational commitment does not lead to a similar change in organizational learning. In conclusion, higher role ambiguity weakens the impact of OC on OL. And although the relationship is significant at all the three levels but it is weakening at a higher level of role ambiguity now again we've got another outcome variable organizational performance being affected by these three variables and ra is moderating now this particular relationship is it moderating no it's not moderating the relationship because the p-value is greater than 0 0.05 Although role ambiguity has a significant impact on organizational performance. Organizational learning also has a significant impact. Organizational commitment also has a significant impact. Look at this. There is a zero in between here for interaction. Is the interaction significant? No. The interaction when added does not lead to a significant change in the outcome. So your interaction is insignificant. Now the same output described in text. OC has a significant impact on OP, OL has a significant impact on OP, RA has a significant impact on organizational performance. This should have been OP, sorry for the mistake, and interaction is insignificant. Now again, we can visualize the output, but in this case, the outcome is OP, the same way that we did earlier. Now look at this. With the change in role ambiguity, Although there is a change, but we, we find that the effect is normally or more or less the same. So even at high, low or average low role ambiguity, the impact of organizational commitment on organizational performance does not change. Although the impact is significant at all three levels. But the moderating variable that is role ambiguity does not moderate this relationship because all the three gradients are more or less similar and we do not need to further probe the interaction because the interaction was insignificant as well now moving on the indirect effect so the conditional indirect effect of x on y this is good initial information but we still do not know about the indirect effect or how the moderator influences the indirect effect now look at this indirect effect at low role ambiguity at average and at high role ambiguity it is significant at all three levels but we are interested in finding out about the moderated mediation, whether the indirect effect of OC on OP through OL is being moderated by role ambiguity or not. Now, although it is moderated at all the three levels, that is role ambiguity does moderate at high, low and average level, but is there a moderated mediation? Now, there is indirect effect at 
low roll ambiguity yes there is indirect effect at average and there is indirect effect at high roll ambiguity now the conditional indirect effect shows that the indirect effect is high, is high at low roll ambiguity the so indirect effect is high when the roll ambiguity is low at average roll ambiguity it is higher as well but obviously it is highest at low roll ambiguity however the conditional indirect effects are significant at all the three levels it is lower at high roll ambiguity but is there moderated mediation does the influence of roll ambiguity as a moderator changes the strength of this indirect effect again to know this we need index of moderated mediation again this is the same repetition of this text just with the values now where do we know and how do we know that there is moderated mediation the last test we need to assess if the construct of roll ambiguity is significantly moderating the indirect effect we need index of moderated mediation where is your index of moderated mediation here it is so roll ambiguity does moderate the indirect effect of oc on op through ol that is roll ambiguity does change the strength of indirect effect from oc to op through ol look at this at higher level of ra it is it is much weaker the indirect effect but at low ra it is much stronger we can conclude that yes there is moderated mediation look at this bootstrap lower level or upper level confidence interval there is no zero in between and there is no zero in between here as well now again you can report it like this all these estimates are provided in the tables i've just put in in the form of a table here these are direct relationship indirect relationship your moderated mediation the effect size standard error confidence level the t values calculated based on dividing the effect size with standard error output is available in these tables here that we saw earlier these tables you can simply copy the values and put it in here and draft your hypothesis based on direct relationship interaction indirect relationship as well again if you want a sample write up hypothesis h1 suggested that the indirect effect of organizational commitment on organizational performance through organizational learning will be moderated by role ambiguity h1 was supported as the index of moderated mediation this was the index and this was the confidence interval there is no zero in between is significant since the 95% confidence interval does not include a zero so this was all about model 8 and how to use or analyze model 8 using case process macro thank you very much